Uh, good, good win. Wasn't it wasn't a thing of beauty, but it's a W in the right column. So um, that team was a scrappy, tough team. We knew it. We told our guys all about it, um, and uh, they they gave us a hell of a fight. But was really proud of the way our guys responded and never relented and, and close you know push that one out and, and close it out. For the players, uh, you guys have obviously faced some adversity in your last game and, and again in this one. How important was it to kind of gather some momentum uh, for, the, for what you got coming ahead here? Uh, I think it was very important for us to get some momentum, especially going into Pac-12 play. It's a big win, at, you know, hopefully lead on. And uh, obviously we got Utah and Colorado coming up. Yeah, obviously we didn't have a good taste on our mouth um, after the Texas A&M game. Um, and it was a, I think it was eight days that we didn't have a game and then so we were feeling kind of like that, so it was important for us to come out um, and get this win. When those last uh, six minutes of this game were pretty big for your team, what did you kind of see out of your group there? Uh, you know, it was great to just see them making plays on both ends. You know, um, and, you know, we had young fella in there, Roman guys, guys that you know haven't had a ton of consistent minutes were playing, you know, crucial minutes, and um, it was great to see that. And then I thought we showed great maturity on, on the offensive end. Uh, we were a little stubborn there for a while, both halves. Um, and uh, they were physical with us. And, and, and like I said, um, they showed maybe some of their coaches' stubbornness out on the court. But uh, when it was uh, crunch time, uh, I thought they, they made some great plays offensively. They spaced the floor. They shared the ball. Um, we took care of it down the stretch. We had zero turnovers in the second half after having seven. So we cleaned that up at, uh, a little bit at halftime. Um, and we got stops, um, and, and we, th we, we threw our little 13 tight the last few minutes, and, and um, you saw what that might be able to do for us at certain times. You know, we got some turnovers and out in transition. It was, re was really, Coach Thompson made the point to the staff, you know, Trace got a couple of steals and could have easily tried to go in there, and he drop off, great finish by Ethan, and then the next one, Ethan could have dunked it again, dropped it off to Kyler. Uh, that's good stuff. That's good juju for, for the chemistry, especially when it's coming from your main guys. So um, again, love the way they close it out. And good contributions from your bench as well. Uh, Roman, Jared, uh, Great. Peyton, how important are those going to be going forward? It's huge. It's what we've been talking about. It's what we've hoped to develop. Um, uh, you know, we haven't been able to go you know, consistently with that, that deep into our bench, but it was a plan of ours heading into the second half, and you know, I'm, I'm really proud of those guys. Even Sean Miller Moore, his defense, um, those guys got to keep buying in. And if they keep buying in, and we can use the depth as a strength. Um, and, and I know I'm confident that those guys will, will hang in there and, and continue to contribute for us. Big Roman was great. Big Roman was a presence at the rim on both ends when we didn't have one there for a while. Um, and, and then we saw Kyler after his third foul when he went back in, picked up the urgency a little bit, you know, so uh, that's going to be a nice little one-two punch uh, at the five. And, and we hope to where maybe Kyler can move a little to the four and, and Peyton and everybody contributes and everybody's happy. Ethan, I think this is a career high scoring for you. I know you probably don't keep track of such things, but is it just a matter of whatever the team needs from you? Um, yeah, kind of. I, I, I think I have a pretty well-rounded game. Um, I don't think scoring is, I don't like go out and try to score a certain amount of points or anything like, like that. I think um, just let the game come to me, t try to take as many good looks as I can. Um, and I think the three threes at the start of the game really helped me get confidence back from last game. So, yeah. And Wayne, it's, it's Pac-12 play now. I know you've got some veterans on this team who've been through these wars before. How do you feel about where your team is as you head into conference play? Uh, you know, you know, we've done some good things. Um, you know, we've, we've been tested. Uh, obviously, we've had moments where we didn't play so well uh, over these 12 games, but we've learned from them. Um, we, we feel good. We just said in there, whether we're 12 and 0, 11 and 1, 10 and 2, or 5 and 7, if the math works, we'd be saying the same thing right now. We're putting that behind us, but we're carrying the knowledge and the experience forward. Um, we've got a very tough start to league. Uh, the Mountain Schools, Arizona's back here, Washington School's on the road. But it's a great opportunity for us, and that's what we're going to sell to our team, a great opportunity to go make some, some things happen early. Um, and, and, and then maybe when things line up a little bit differently down, down the road, we'll, we'll be in good shape. But 
these guys are hungry. Um, they're they're as excited as a Tasmanian Devil in an F-16 to get back out on the floor today. And um, we didn't show it all the time, but um, it, this was a good thing for us, good medicine moving forward. And I know they'll be thrilled to hit the road um, to go start it off with Utah, who's obviously, Larry's done a great job with a very young team with a lot of new guys, and we'll, uh, we'll be up for the challenge. Coach, you mentioned you touched on the, the double, the two centers, maybe two big guys on the floor once. You've been wanting to do that most of the year. Do you feel pretty good going in with the three guys, your three centers? Yeah, I do. I do. Um, I, I, I'd hoped to get Big Tuck some more playing time, but um, we're still going to keep developing him, and maybe he can figure into that too uh, when we get into the league. But those three guys are coming along. They know what they need to continue to do to help us more. We've got to keep working in those areas with them. But one thing we haven't been able to do is play much with Roman and Kyler. We were hoping to do that in the second half, and then Kyler got a little foul trouble, but it's something that we'll do. And, and I think because we were able to play bigger at times, it re was reflected with um, you know the, the rebounding. Was, that was a team that was plus seven on the year with their opponents, and, and you know, to out-rebound them was great. And um, it was, it's good, but I know we can even be better there. Ethan, uh, second question I was asked of your coach just a, a minute ago. How are you feeling just as a group about uh, where you're at heading into Pac-12 play now? Oh, yeah, I'm feeling very confident in our team and our position and going into Pac-12 play. Um, like I said, um, Pac-12 has a lot of talent, but I think Oregon State also has a lot of talent as well. And uh, not only to compete, but to win games, a lot of games in the Pac-12. Wayne, obviously you guys have a lot of pieces who haven't played in the Pac-12 yet, but what advantage does that present to you guys, you know, just from a tendency standpoint where teams don't know exactly what sort of players bring to the table? Well, I, I don't think it'll last because there's, there's no secrets in conference play, and they'll have scoured every game, probably even back into high school and junior college, and they'll know our players' tendencies. But um, I think there will be a little bit of time where – um, we might be able to get away from uh, with some things, but it won't it won't last because the scouting's so in depth. But um, I, I like that you know this guy picked it up, played well for us. And w w the pieces are starting to come together, but we've got a long way to go. Um, getting this group of new guys, there's seven new guys now, to where they get some league experience and understanding what that's all about um, is the next step for us. So um, we'll, we'll take it head on, and um, you know be able to continue to grow this thing as we're moving forward. Go Beeps. Go Beeps.